In this video, I'll be talking about Martin Odegaard as he is now set to return for Arsenal's next Premier League game. And I also talk about Takahiro Tomiyasu as apparently Bayern Munich now have an interest in him. I also touch on news around Ruben Neves and also Fabio Vieira as well. Getting straight into it, obviously the news came from Standard Sport and Simon Collins with regards to Martin Odegaard. And he basically put out an article saying that Arsenal captain Martin Odegaard is now on track for injury return against Brentford. In the article, it just says stuff like, like, you know, he was getting concussed because obviously that's why he was out. He got hit by a ball in training, I believe. Obviously missed international duty with Norway and uh, obviously they actually went out the Euros. So that's unfortunate for him. Not out the Euros, obviously the qualifiers I mean. But obviously he's obviously focused on Arsenal now and then now he's set to return against Brentford. In my opinion, obviously fantastic news. Obviously our captain, I do believe we have missed him because yes, he was out of form and he wasn't even playing that well. There was lots of talk about dropping him and then when he did obviously get dropped, dropped or it turns out he was injured and looks like we continue to win games to be fair we still did okay but there's a reason Arteta has gone with Jorginho in the six and maybe racing the eight and Havertz ahead of them it looks like he doesn't really trust his other eight options in Fabio Vieira for example Havertz obviously hasn't really done too much and the Smith throw is obviously injured as well so that's why Martin Odegaard in my opinion we have missed him because just the lack of eights and it's going to be good to have him back hopefully this injury if he was playing through injury hopefully he'll be okay and he's had plenty of this, so let's hope he plays well against Brentford because we need these players to start coming back obviously our injury list is pretty big uh, Jesus obviously on international duty but Thomas Partey, Smith Rowe Odegaard who looks to be coming back so let's just hope he's going to be back and it looks like he will play against Brentford will he start? I'm not 100% sure will Arteta want to risk him straight away or will he think you know I want to put him on the bench have to wait and see but he looks like he's set to be in the squad at the very least against Brentford when we return to Premier League football and you can see at the bottom Bottom about Takahiro Tomiyasu and it came from Pretty Goal, obviously decent German outlet. And he said that Arsenal defender Takahiro Tomiyasu was a hot topic at FC Bayern Munich last summer. The reason for Bayern Munich's interest is that the Japanese can play centre-back and right-back. A January move is quite unrealistic as Tomiyasu will be at the Asian Cup with Japan, obviously. Nevertheless, Bayern Munich will keep monitoring the player's situation towards a potential move next summer. So we all know Tomiyasu, before this season, his future which was very much up in the air because he never really started for us and had some bad injury concerns. However, this season, he's barely got injured and if you ask a lot of fans, I think loads of people prefer him to play left back at the moment instead of Zinchenko. And he's playing very well for us, so I think most Arsenal fans are happy, but with players playing well, you get interest from big clubs. And that's obviously where Bayern Munich come in. Obviously, we're interested in the player last summer and maybe looking towards a January move. But obviously, seems unrealistic, as they say with the Asian Cup, but also Arsenal probably unwilling to sell. I was talking about this with Kiwi, or we're pretty short on defenders with Jimmy and Timber getting injured and Ben White having to play a lot of minutes, obviously, now. So to sell one of our key defenders, especially one that's so versatile and is currently starting in January, is just never going to happen. In the summer, I mean, I'm not going to say it can't happen in the summer, even though as it stands now, I want to keep him. He's playing super well and is a very useful option, as I said, you know, very versatile and still pretty young too. So right now, I do want to keep him but you know come towards the summer anything can change maybe he gets an injury maybe he plays very very bad you know something anything can happen so that's why I wouldn't really rule out a potential summer move but in my opinion I really want Tommy Asher to stay as it stands as I just said you never know though if he wants to go or maybe you know it's hard to keep your best players when you know the big clubs really want him but if Tommy Asher is happy Arsenal's happy and maybe a new contract could be discussed have to wait and see still very far from that Tommy Asher will obviously be focusing on trying to win our stuff this season and obviously the Asian Cup with Japan so still very far off from anything even happening. January window never going to happen. Summer window could happen but Bayern Munich are very interested and when Bayern Munich are interested in your best players it's probably a good saying because if nobody really wants your players it probably means they're not that good but if people really want your players then you're obviously doing something right. So I have to wait and see how this one develops if anything happens but I don't think anything big will come out anytime soon but in the summer I guess you never know. Moving on though to news about Ruben Neves and it obviously came from David Ornstein. We all know he's tier one when it comes to any type of news around this. 
Nevis. And he says exclusive that Ruben Nevis is set to stay at Al Halal during the January transfer window. Regardless of the Premier League vote on associated party loans, as things stand, the 26 year old midfielder is not expected to leave. There's been no approaches or even talks yet, and the Portugal midfielder is happy, settled, and is crucial to Al Halal. So we all know we've been linked with Ruben Nevis quite a few times, actually, you know, saying that we could actually get him on a loan and it wouldn't be a bad option considering if we don't have too much money to spend in January. Fabrizio Romano was talking about it, didn't really rule it out but said nothing's going on at the moment, there's been no talks or anything. And to be honest, it didn't seem that anything massive was in it as nobody really said there's any talks or anything and David Ornstein basically kind of confirms that it's not going to happen yet. I mean, anything can happen, anything can change a fallout, just anything can happen as I say but again, as it stands, David Ornstein, if he says it's not going to happen at the moment then it's probably likely. He is probably set to stay during the window and obviously there was that Premier League vote of if you can vote, uh, sorry, loan people during the uh, party loan, stuff like that. Looks to be a bit irrelevant though to this deal as Ruben Neves is now set to stay and if Arsenal do want to sign a midfielder it looks like we will have to go after somebody else. Heavy links with Douglas Luiz uh, as Ruben Mendy's been linked as well. Lots of other options on the market and I didn't really think this one was ever going to happen. The loan thing did look a little bit dodgy anyway to be honest, especially with the Newcastle and Saudi Arabia thing and it doesn't look like a kind of deal that Arsenal would have pursued it anyway and it looks like they won as Ruben Neves is probably going to be staying in Saudi Arabia now so I doubt this one comes across again. Again maybe during the January transfer window something could happen but as of now Ruben Neves is set to stay in Saudi Arabia and won't be joining Arsenal or any team on loan. And final bit of news that I wanted to bring in actually it's about loan about Fabio Vieira apparently Marseille are interested in that and it came from uh, like a Marseille source I again didn't really know the reliability but they were saying that Marseille seems to be interested in the profile of Fabio Vieira. He's obviously lacking too much playing time at Arsenal and Marseille are studying the possibility of potentially loading the midfielder during the January transfer window. However, Fabrizio Romano talks about this straight away and say that Marseille have been linked with an interest in signing Fabio Vieira on loan but it's too early to say on this one. Arsenal have not decided anything yet on players to leave in January and also Marseille have no director. It will be Mehdi Benascia who is set to be announced this week but it's still too early to negotiate for players. So Fabio Vieira, again, another player that doesn't really get too much game time, had a decent start to the season, ca having some very nice cameos off the bench and playing, starting a few games, doing decent. Unfortunately, got that sending off against Burnley, so now won't be able to play in the Premier League for a few games, which is a bit annoying considering he lacks playing time already, but at least he can play in the Champions League. And then, could a loan move be interesting? I mean, I don't know if this one would actually uh, happen or not, because again, we are short of midfielders. But say if we were to buy a midfielder, then maybe... Maybe letting Vieira go on loan wouldn't be the worst idea considering he won't get too much game time at Arsenal. But I imagine with the club wanting to go after the FA Cup, the Premier League, the Champions League, I think they would want to keep a hold of Fabio Vieira. Again, Marseille, they don't have a director. They're not even, you know, sure who they're going to go after yet. So it looks like Fabio Vieira hasn't really been discussed, although maybe it could be in January. It wouldn't be a bad loan move for him. As of now, though, it looks like I mean, there's not really too much in this at the moment. Obviously, I wouldn't rule really out a loan move for Fabio Vieira, not even even to Marseille to anybody. If Arsenal don't get a midfielder though, then I can't see this one happening. But if we do buy somebody, then, you know, I wouldn't really rule this one out, as I just said. Have to wait and see though. Looks like Marseille haven't really decided who they're going for. And Arsenal, you know, haven't really decided who's leaving in January. So we'll have to wait and see if this one develops later. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on the Neves news? Do you think Arsenal could go in for him? Or do you think this is now done? And also, Vieira. Would you loan him or would you like to keep him uh, if, if we're obviously short in midfield? Tomiyasu, would you like to keep him or do you think we should wait and see? Because Bayern Munich are obviously interested. And Martin Odegaard as well. How happy are you with him that he's obviously, he looks like he's going to be returning against Brentford? Sorry if there's a difference in my voice, by the way. I have a little bit of a cold, so apologies to that. Obviously, I think this will probably be the last daily Arsenal news for just a little bit because obviously Premier League football and Champions League football is coming back, so we'll mainly be focusing on that. Obviously, we'll keep an eye on and any breaking news or anything big and we'll try to squeeze one in every now and again but as of now it looks like the Premier League football will be back so watch out for the previews and all that. We'll probably be doing an international roundup video as well to see how the Arsenal players got along as well so make sure you watch out for that video which should hopefully be out tomorrow-ish as well. Make sure you check out the other video I did where I talked about El Juventus as they were interested in lowering Thomas Party in January and also a young little defender from Valencia who Arsenal could potentially go for. But as for this video
video again thank you guys so much for watching make sure you smash a like on the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one